Jean Pisani Ferry, thank you very much for being with WPC TV. You are a very prominent economist. You've, been, attend, you've assisted a lot of governments in France, and now you are, I think, head of strategy for the government of uh, Manuel Valls. Yes. Uh, and now you've just been to, sort of, difficult job. Now you've been talking about inequality and globalization. Is there an acceptable level of social uh, inequality, social mobility, immobility, if you like, going with uh, inequality? Somehow, I mean, the more social mobility you, are, you have, the more inequality is acceptable because, uh, you know, what's very difficult to accept, uh, whatever the judgment you have and the desirable degree of equality within the society, is that it perpetuates from one generation to the next. Um, so um, I think we, we still don't have a very good approach to that. I mean, people focus much more on inequality because it's easy to measure or relatively easy to measure, it's more visible. <coughs> but the question of uh, what happens to children and what happens across uh, generations uh, is, is very important. Well, one of your colleagues brought up at the last moment inheritance tax. Yes. Uh, what's your view on that? Um, I, as, a, you know, as an economist, I think it has very desirable properties. Uh, inheritance tax uh, does not affect significantly the behavior of individuals. Um, inherent tax uh, you know, avoids the situation in which people live out of their rents. Uh, so <laughs> gives an incentive for, uh, to people to, uh, you know, to, to make the best of their skills. Uh, so it is desirable. Now the politics of the in inheritance tax is difficult. I think it's difficult in many countries. And difficult for reasons that have to do with the fact that, you know, people who have worked hard wants to leave something to their children. Um, even if it's not in the best interest of their children, because I think I would certainly prefer my children uh, to work and to create rather than to <laughs> live out of my, um, well, the wealth I may, I may leave to them. Well, your compatriot. They, they won't be able to anyway, so your, your compatriot, I'm not very worried. Thomas Piketty went, I think, one step further advocating a wealth tax, of what boils down to a wealth tax. Would you go that far? Um, <clears throat> I think a wealth tax also, you know, we have wealth taxes on, uh, on land. Um, you know, economists prefer taxes that do not affect the behavior of people too much. So, you know, a wealth, that's uh, something that you may wish to, uh, to tax with a not too, too, too high a level, obviously, because uh, uh, because it may not affect the behavior too much. Uh, what you don't want is a situation in which uh, people will be uh, uh, distracted, I mean, refrain from working, creating, because of taxation. Uh, the, uh, the wealth there is, that's, that's different. Now, you have to uh, be careful also in terms of <coughs> the return on, uh, on investment especially on risky investment, because uh, if you tax the wealth exposed, uh, people have taken risk, uh, it may affect the risk uh, return uh, calculation, and ex ante it may affect their willingness to, to take those risks. So that's something you have to be uh, careful about. Jean-Pierre thank you very much. Thank you.